Yeah, I don't say nothing more about the settings, you know. Because everybody supposed to be familiar with the settings, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the settings in America again. But all right. Over the past about, about 24 hours, something dawned on me. Something dawned on me. We just come back from a round trip to New York. Um, Kingston to New York and New York back to Kingston. I spent five, no, about, I spent a week, approximately a week. See? But here's here with that for me now. Me know what he say. COVID, stop keep. Because people now wear masks again. Eh? Me left Jamaica with one dozen masks in my hand luggage, in my, in my pouch. One dozen masks, you know. And I come back with ten. Brand new, no wear. <laughs> First of all, we work it out. We spend approximately four hours in the airport, in a normal Mali airport. And then we spend equivalent, approximately, you know, conservatively, you know, another four hours in a JFK. And then now you count flight time now. You talk about conservatively again, four hours not the plane. Go and four hours not the plane. Come back. So we are count eight and eight, 16 hours of travel time where you're in a space with a bag of people from all over the world. Bungle up. When you're in a plane, the plane enclosed. When you're in the airport, it's a little bit more open, but it's still enclosed. It's bigger space, but it's still enclosed. And people, me can count from me, from me one hand. And allow me to tell you, not that bad. You see the people in my work in the airport, the people in my work at the airline desk, and the people in my work in the airport, they wear masks. For the most part, them people they wear masks. Not all of them, you know, but for the most part, them wear masks. I don't know if it's mandated or not, but most of them people wear masks. But you see the general John Strokes and Tom Jones and, and Jane Doe, they never have no mask. Most of the people don't wear no mask. It's like... As I said, when I tell you, know, me put on my mask, you know, when I go initially in the airport, you know, and, all, and it's almost like I feel like an odd person out, you know. Like me feel like, say, where did that, like, like, where did that man, like me feel like some of them said to me, where did that man, yeah? Mask now, wear again. Eh? So, here the thing come to my head now. And not to mention, you know, when I go to New York, you know, it works. Nobody in New York now has no mask. When you go in a one and twenty establishment, and you might find one or two people have on mask. But generally, out in the streets, me go to a football match in New York. 30,000 people in a big stadium. And a football fans in there. You know. Football, loud cheering football fans, people. So you know that spit la fly all over the place. And me not see nobody in a mask. Me could have come from one and in the stadium. The amount of people me see in a mask. See? And in the general, two in and four in the streets and all them. So me not see nobody in a mask. So it come back to my mind now. You remember in the midst of the pandemic then? When some man have some theory said this thing is being overblown and exaggerated. The man let me seem to have had a point. And when you think about it carefully, you can pick up the point at which the pandemic became less of a serious issue, you know. From Putin going with something over Ukraine, man, you know, you know, him COVID thing you know, going on on the back burner, man. Bounce round, V run away, you know, you're not know, about COVID again. <laughs> See, the other day, when Queen Elizabeth, that's up when Queen Elizabeth transition. Eh? You see the streets of Britain, how it line with people. You see anybody have on a mask? Eh? All of a sudden, my COVID just stop keeps up. Boom. Eh? And let me tell you this. The nature of the, the, the COVID-19 you know, is that people are still actually getting the virus, but it's just that people are really get sick with it. You get me? And I, I think that this has always been the case. The majority of the people who get COVID never get sick with COVID, you know. It's just that people realize, you know, them have to go through them unnecessary testing, you know, for your man stigmatize you until you say, stigmatize, yeah, 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 lock up for 15 days, you have COVID. That's something they stop keep. Hmm? From Putin to that something, the part of the something they stop keep. Yeah, so, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I am not one of them conspiracy theorists, you know. Me and, me and one of them man they were feel say is some man and him friend plan up this to get with the black people, you know, like we hear some man attack, you know. Or is some man and him, him friend cook it up in a lab and set it out for target certain people, but it get to and grab some other people where it shouldn't grab me. <laughs> me don't buy them something. But me just think the arguments, the counter arguments at the time that this thing is being exaggerated 
And there was some data that was put out at the time. It said the common flu actually killed more people than the COVID-19 pandemic. I look back on the whole thing now. As I said, I want to demand them to buy into the, the, the medical advice lock, hook, and sink. You know? eh? Me used to wear masks, me used to stifle you know, people. Yeah, man, you so wear masks, you must stifle, man. You so drink vitamin to me stifle. Eh? Don't got the COVID, me start exercise hard, you know, man. Eh? Because me not buying everything. Me never. Me used to run with my conspiracy theories, friend, you know. But now that the, 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 the way, the kind of unceremonious way, where the, the, the COVID importance level drop from code red right down to code blackness, and all, me I wonder to piss you know, man. How real was this thing in the first place? Eh? How real was it? A millions of dollars make off a vaccine, you know. <laughs> millions of dollars make off a vaccine. Hmm? And when, as me tell you, say, in, in, in fairness, I have not traveled since the COVID, COVID pandemic. Setting is the first time I have traveled. So maybe traveling now when the restrictions kind of relaxed is a reason why me seeing this kind of, you know, Nobody not really aware of no mass, nobody not really a social. You see how when you bungle up now the immigration line, eh? that line they will not take off your boot and your belt and all them say, people are you know your face, people are stepping on me. If you step up to myself and say, well, COVID or no COVID, me not supposed to be so close to too much people, me don't know. Eh? <laughs> so I said, no, sir. Eh? But anyway, I, I, at least I think people is a pushback from people who felt like they made, they made not too much bandage over the past three years from the summer. So it's a pushback for say, you know, a long time, I tell them something unfortunate, you know. Remember when some people used to push back on it and talk against it, you know. Sections of mainstream media used to take them to task. When I tell them to take COVID to all politics in America, you know. If you over there, so I say, you know, that's something I overblown and exaggerated. You identify and you stigmatize over there, you know. And you over there, you know, we adhere to all of the, the protocols required now. You know, stigmatize as you're on the side of the fence. Eh? But as it is turning out to be you now, look on the unceremonious way how COVID stop keep, despite being still here, you know. Come if you say most people still are catching it a like hundred times and not now, do them, you know. It's just that people stop requiring compulsory testing now. Much enough money make up for that now. So when they test compulsory again, and people realize, say, you can catch COVID 1,500 times and not do you, and you go about your business. Take long for them to realize, though. Conveniently, take a whole part of time. Eh? When I think about it, <laughs> me have my 10 masks in my, in, my, in my pack. One does me left away, but we are one go to policy does. And I think we did take out the next one. I want me to take out the other one. Me no remember. I think me that the first night me I touch the road. When me up a New Year. The first night me I touch the road. Me say me carry a mask. In place. In case when me go. Mask man date there. Me have a mask now me and you know in case. When me walk that place and see nobody do me just dash the mask neatly. <laughs> me say me no want nobody take me as well come back a wall in that. He say where you are going mask brother? Me just dash it when me just drop it. Right now the garbage can and this one. Anyway people. Then we want to think about what we think. In the garden, you know that? Eh? In the garden, you know? <laughs> COVID stop keep! Eh? I put in cars, you know? I put in my COVID stop keep. And then the queen pantapite. Wanna say? <laughs>